Hey, it's Kenny. Just left the house, headed south on Highway 101, going to go for a two-day camping trip at Tackenich Lake. It rained a bit last night and it's cleared off today and there's some nice blue sky up there, but it's only 50 degrees, but it is, you know, the first week of April. So, it is what it is. This is going to be the third camping trip this year. And uh, I hope to enjoy some sunshine and sitting around the campfire. Should be a good day or a good couple days. So, come along with me. I am camping at Tackenich Lake Landing Campground. It's a forest service campground. It's boondocking, basically. There's no water or electric hookups, but there's a picnic table, firing, and a great view. I am happy to be here. Well, I made it to the campground, and uh, I got my trailer all set up. That's commence camping. <laughs> this is Tackenich Lake. I think this is the third time I've camped at this campground, the second time in this spot. I picked this because it's got a nice view of the lake and it's in pretty good sunshine too for my solar panels. Got a nice picnic table, nice fire pit, I brought my firewood. I will probably go for a walk around the park here a little bit later but right now I think I'm just going to sit in the chair in the sun for a while. <laughs> Up in that tree there is actually an eagle sitting there on the limb. Cool. That is awesome. <laughs> I just sat down in my chair and just happened to see him up there. Cool. <whistles> when you go camping, you never know what's going to happen or what you're going to witness. That's uh, one of the beauties of going out into the Wilderness, or well, it's not actually a wilderness, we're in a campground, but you know, out in the forest and uh, getting away from all that electronic stuff at home. There is uh, basically no cell phone coverage here. There might be a bar once in a while. I don't know, my phone doesn't show anything, but maybe if you had a booster, you might be able to get something, but it's not looking too good for connecting yourself to the internet or calling anybody from this campsite, but that's all right, I don't mind. It's a good thing. So I've been sitting here in the chair enjoying a nice leisurely sit in the sunshine, sipping on a beer, and some blue jays came along and landed in this big spruce tree right next to me here, and they were looking at me and looking at my campsite. And so I'm thinking, <laughs> these guys are looking for a handout. <laughs> so I've got some uh, peanuts specifically for that. And so I put a few on the picnic table over here, and it was like less than a minute there down there scarfing them up. I could hardly get my camera out quick enough. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome. You just don't see stuff like this playing games on Xbox at home in your living room. <laughs> oh, great. I'm glad you guys came along and get to see this too. You guys must be starving to death. <laughs> There's no, no campers here. You're welcome. <laughs> Got a nice beverage here. This is from Pelican Brewing Company, which is uh, on the Oregon coast. I think it's up by Newport. I'm not 100% not sure. But this is a double hazy India pale ale. 8.8 .8 alcohol. It's a good one. I like these. Yep. There's a 
ales are basically my favorite kind of beer. I'm not real fond of lagers. Ales is the way to go for me, <laughs> especially out here in the uh, outdoors. I'm going to be sitting by a fire pit here later and see if we can get a fire going. I have a new um, sandwich cooker thing. You, I'll, I'll show it to you later, but it's something I just I've seen before and used before, but I just bought a couple off of Amazon specifically to take one on this trip because you can uh, cook a sandwich over the open fire. <laughs> we shall see. I went for a short walk down to the uh, boat launch where there's a dock. There wasn't anybody down there. It's uh, pretty quiet right now this time of the year at this campground, but although I have seen a few other people come and go launching their boats going out on the lake. Not too many campers though. I think there's only two other people in this park at the moment. I thought I would set a camera up inside the trailer. I wanted to see what it was like in the trailer when it was being towed down the road. <laughs> so now I know. <laughs> It's time for a campfire. <laughs> there are lots of different ways to start a campfire. It just, uh, I've used quite a few different ways myself, but this is the way that I've been using it recently. It's uh, pretty easy for me. What we have in there is a presto log or packaged log that you light the outside wrapper with. And then I, <clears throat> I add a couple of big chunks of firewood that I've got from at home and then some little Kenley pieces on the top. And the, uh, the fire log in the middle keeps everything going. It's going to uh, take a few minutes, but it will get going good here. And then we're going to cook some dinner. Okay, I bought this. I've used these before. This is for making sandwiches, cooked sandwiches over a open fire. These uh, two halves hook together and uh, somehow, <laughs> there, we, there we go. And uh, you put your sandwich inside there with the filling in it. So these are made out of cast iron. Some of them come in a round shape. This one just happens to match a piece of bread. Please keep in mind, I am no expert in any of this whatsoever. It's just the way I do it. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to make two sandwiches. Uh, basically, my seasoning on the bread is this chicken sandwich sauce. I've got some chicken that was pre-cooked, there's some onion on there, and a little bit of cheese, and you're supposed to put butter on the bread on the outside, the side that's towards the uh, cast iron. Uh, my butter was in the refrigerator, so I couldn't really spread it, <laughs> but that's okay. Normally, I like keeping butter outside the refrigerator, but hey, it was in the refrigerator when I got here. What are you going to do? <laughs> so we're going to try cooking all this on the open fire. Except for the veggies, which are on the stove. I'm attempting to heat up some beans. Okay, so we put our bread on there and put our bread in there and then we close it up. It's got a hook. And it's ready to put on the fire.
We shall see. I guess we have to turn it over periodically. I have no idea when it will be done. <laughs> That's just guesswork, I guess. Looks good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that came out looking really good. How about the taste test? It's hot. Mm. Onions are done, chicken's good. I like it. I'm going to eat this and then cook another one for lunch for tomorrow. <laughs> well, cooking that sandwich with that uh, fire pit, I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> I'd have to go look, see what I bought. Anyway, um, it is easy to tell if it's done or not you can open it up easily anytime you want to and just look at it and see if it's brown or not when it is nice and toasted it is finished so yeah it was really not that hard to cook at all and it came out really good i highly recommend it <laughs> well it has been a good day i thoroughly enjoyed my dinner I hope you learned something from my old cooking with Kenny. <laughs> if not, oh well. <laughs> There's more than one way to cook something. Anyway, this is a good camping experience so far. Tomorrow I'm probably going to do a little exploring around the area. But tonight I'm just going to hang by the fire for a while and then uh, retire to the trailer later. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.